Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today we're going to be looking at some huge developments for the XDC network and then we're going to look at how blockchain can help trade finance and is the gold standard going to return. And then we'll finish up by looking at some amazing quotes from Andre Kosterman and will cryptocurrencies flourish when banks adopt the ISO 20022 standard? I hope you will watch to the end as today's video will be fire as usual. Looking at a tweet from XX, he is talking about something that Andre Kosterman has said about trade finance guys. It's an amazing few lines that you should pay attention to. And Andre Kosterman has said the evolution of cross-border payments is more exciting than ever. However, for banks, the priority is to use the payment data for compliance and differentiation. So get your data in order. And he's given us four hints on the payments front. He says, whether you like it or not, there is no escape to tokenization, DLT and digital assets. It's a natural evolution of the Internet of Information to become the Internet of Value. Hint number two, he says standardization in cross-border payments will be centered around ISO standard and those semantics will be supported by a mix of closed and open communications technologies. And he goes on to say in hint number three, get your payments data in order. Data management technologies make it easy whichever number of in-house legacy systems. And point number four, he says while many new payment options need more time to gain traction, Investing in data-driven value propositions and process improvements is the safest investment for financial institutions. So wow guys, Andre Kostman once again has given us some good points here, okay? All these points that he has made affect us on the XTC network because we are attacking tokenizations, we have a DLT project, we have digital assets, okay? And we are attacking the internet of value because we want value to move seamlessly like how information like emails move today okay you want to just be sending payments instantly within seconds this is the future goal and with even trade finance guys we want documentation to be available digitally so if you're going to save the environment and save loads of money why would you not use the technology so this technology in my opinion is a lifesaver it's going to change the world for the better so we're going to keep an eye guys but under cost man once again giving us good information let's move on to the next bit Looking at tweet from Michael Crypto XDC, how can blockchain help shape the future of trade finance? Now this article guys, I've read it through, it's very interesting. I'm going to pick out some key points for you to listen to because trade finance is definitely needing a transformation. So trade finance refers to a range of financial products used to mitigate risks in trading between suppliers and buyers of goods and services. Trade finance is focused primarily on international trade operations involving exporters and importers and looking at the existing trade finance setup guys we know it doesn't work because currently the exporter and importer sign a contract for the sale of goods like oil agricultural produce or manufactured products the importer then arranges for a letter of credit with an issuing bank so definitely guys the current process doesn't work the way it is because it takes a lot of time it costs a lot of money and it is definitely not efficient not transparent and definitely not interoperable so how is blockchain technology going to help trade financing so every transaction on the blockchain is immutably recorded with a timestamp and a unique cryptographic signature for complete transparency everyone with the right permission can access similar information which helps to increase trust and prevent fraud and with blockchain technology bringing in smart contracts they are going to play a very huge and important role because as some conditions are met such as a shipment of goods smart contracts send payment notifications to companies and they can apply for bank guaranteed payments and invoicing so guys it makes the whole process automated because with smart contracts when a happens then b is automatically generated so this is the way forward and as we already know from watching my channel barclays was one of the first banks to use blockchain in the trade finance industry and they implemented a platform called wave that was developed to allow bills of lading and other trade transaction documents like insurance certificates to be signed securely and exchanged through blockchain and guys that transaction where it used to take days happened in a number of hours okay so this is not just about saving money it's about saving time guys you can get more work done and everybody's happy because it's done quicker and straight away and guys xtc at the moment being at the heart of trade finance is solving all these problems barclays is using the technology that xtc is providing because it's partnered with all these huge 
massive trade finance organizations. And another example of a bank using this technology was HSBC. They went a step further by exchanging a similar letter of credit in what is claimed the first commercially viable trade finance transaction to use blockchain technology. So to summarize, blockchain technology has the potential to revolutionize trade finance in a number of ways. It can be used to track goods throughout the supply chain and relay information to and from the owner. So blockchain technology is going to bring so many benefits guys, they have no choice but to use it because that's the only way forward. And the benefits are clear guys because with smart contracts, you can use to initiate commercial actions automatically. You don't need any intermediaries, okay? And there's gonna be a lot of transparency which will help reduce delays and increase trust among all parties involved. So everybody across the world, many countries use different systems right now. They are not interoperable. This is where XTC comes in, making that level playing field for everybody to interoperate and be transparent on the same page so that they can exchange value and goods seamlessly so trade finance is currently going through this transformation many countries are adopting MLETR, adopting value movement adopting digital documentation so this is going to be the end game the future is digital guys so we're going to pay attention to trade finance because it is at the heart of xdc let's move on to the next bit looking at a tweet from chain gamer will digital currencies wane or flourish as banks adopt iso 20022 this is the future Digital money reducing the current friction and costs, in turn creating liquidity where it didn't exist before. It is clear guys, the ISO adoption is very close. Some banks have started it in November last month and some and most of them are going to be taking it on from March next year, which is only three to four months away. And the current fiat system guys doesn't definitely work, okay? It takes days, it costs too much and digital currencies like crypto are gonna be here to stay because they are gonna make everything faster and cheaper. So let's have a quick look at this article and pick out some key points for you to take note of. So as you know already, Swift had planned to introduce the ISO standard, a global standard for exchanging electronic messages, but this had now been delayed to March 2023, okay? And the result of this is that 11,500 banks and 4 billion bank accounts, which have access to the Swift platform, currently will have the ability to be able to receive ISO payment messages and the intention is to run this new standard with the old standard so they can phase in the new standard up till 2025 where all messages must be based on ISO standard and so usher in a global standard in which to send messages and indeed transfer value and the chief innovation officer as Swift has said digital currencies and tokens have huge potential to shape the way we all pay and invest in the future we see inclusivity and interoperability there you have it guys, interoperability once again, interoperability with XTC, with many other networks that provide this service is going to be key. And continuing with this, it says interoperability as central pillars of the financial ecosystem and our innovation is a major step towards unlocking the potential of the digital future. And he added that tokenization has a great potential when it comes to strengthening liquidity in markets and increasing access to investment opportunities and SWIFT's existing infrastructure can ensure these benefits can be realized at the earliest opportunity by as many people as possible. And they mention here guys that there are only seven cryptocurrencies that are able to comply at the moment but no doubt this list will expand over the coming months. And this includes the list we normally talk about, Quant, Ripple, Stella, Hadera, IOTA, XTC Network and Algorand. So there is growing evidence that these cryptos, they have a possibility that they will become ISO 20022 compliant and will be accepted as they adopt these global standards made use of by institutions. So one thing is confirmed guys by reading this is that a digital economy is pretty close. And with cryptocurrencies guys, they are gonna be playing a major role in ISO adoption because without them, they can't do this fast transactions and cheap payment services because they can't because the old system didn't work. How could they suddenly just start doing faster payments? Because this new technology allows them to. And with Swift moving to the ISO standard, with many crypto projects being ISO compliant, 
it's a no-brainer guys that crypto is going to be deeply rooted into the new financial system so we're going to keep an eye guys but march is pretty close so i think a lot of things are going to happen well before march maybe regulations will be here by then but guys it's looking huge for cryptocurrencies so make sure you huddle your diamonds like xtc with diamond hands let's move on to the next bit so we're now going to move on to and talk about gold looking at a tweet from gold telegraph breaking news central banks have added a net of 31 tons of gold to international reserves in just october so why do you think these central banks are buying tons of gold because they know what is coming guys okay i can see we're gonna have a basket of currencies which are going to be digital cryptocurrencies okay and they're going to be backed by gold because the gold standard is going to be coming back in a digital way because with the current system being decimated right now as we speak this system has totally lost value it is not worth the paper it is printed on okay with gold it's going to give it a backing and it's going to help the economy recover and with these guys having tons of gold already they are well prepared so we're now going to move on to watching a short clip from senator alex mooney and he said today i addressed the house on the gold standard restoration act my bill will return the us to the gold standard protect against washington's irresponsible spending habits and the creation of money out of thin air so as you guys know already this economy the whole world is in this state because of them being printing so much money out of thin air okay they have totally inflated this economy and we definitely need a reset of some sort and if gold could come back that would be the savior let's have a quick listen to this video clip and then we'll have a quick discussion at the end the united states is facing an inflation and debt crisis not seen in over 40 years west virginians have seen the value of their savings erode before their very eyes because of reckless tax and spend policies we know who's responsible for the current inflation crisis but what in our country's history has allowed us to get to this point the answer can actually be traced back to 1971 when president nixon took the united states off the gold standard the gold standard means tying the dollar directly to the value of gold under the gold standard any american would be able to trade their dollars for a fixed amount of gold by linking the dollar to the value of gold the money supply could only be increased if the supply of gold increases this connection protects the purchasing power of your dollars that is why i introduced to uh, legislation to return the united states to the gold standards had we been on the gold standard or some other fixed standard we'd not be in the inflation crisis we're in today i look forward to working with the republican majority to make sure this issue gets attention thank you and i yield back gentlemen there you have it guys purchasing power of the dollar the yen the pound has absolutely been decimated where you are not getting any value for your savings anymore and many people have no savings left the middle class have been decimated okay and people who were below the middle class haven't got a chance to survive in this bad inflation situation so if we can get the gold standard back we could get some purchasing power back and it could help to save our savings so we will see what happens guys but i think inevitably the gold standard will be coming back because that is the savior of the economy and with central banks gathering tons and tons of gold it's just a matter of time that they are going to be using that to their advantage so we will be keeping an eye on gold guys but as always please huddle your xdc with diamond hands and make sure you put your crypto offline on a hardware wallet but that is it for today guys if you enjoyed the video you know what to do please hit that subscribe button please like this video and share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto i shall see you on another video tomorrow take care